Today we would like to talk about DNet, which is Destination Address Translation. What is DNet? DNet is used to translate destination IP, port mapping, or port forwarding. Normally, the applicable environment is when users want to access internal server from outside of office by using office public IP address. The topology map is as follow, which is ng firewall deploy as a internet gateway and connect a layer 3 switch. Internal network have PC and server. The steps to configure the DNet is similar to SNet configuration, which need to configure the interface zone and also the IP group. So we configure the interface properties first. We need to configure the ETS1 and ETS2 and also we need to configure the zone which is out zone and in zone and also step 3 we configure the IP group which is the server IP group and the PC IP group. And step 4, we configure DNet to translate the public address to internal address. Step 1, we configure the ETH1. We change the physical interface to route mode and add a zone to it. We call it in zone for the internal and we take finger above and assign an IP address to it. and we configure the ETS2 that has route mode and we take finger above and one attribute also and we assign a zone to it out zone which is the one zone and assign the IP address of one zone next hop IP would be the ISP IP address and save so zone and interface is done together and we go to the third step, configure the IP group. We add an IPv4 IP group that has server IP. And we use the server specific IP, which is 1.1.3. And we set the one IP is the one port IP address also we can set uh, IP group for the PC So the next step is we can configure the destination net dnet in this case we translate the public 
network address to the private network address. So we set a name for the DNet. And the source is from the one port, so we choose the out zone. And IP group is for the one port. And we choose protocol, we use all protocol. Destination translation, we choose the server, translate to the server IP address in order to access the internal server using public address. That's all for the DNet configuration. Thanks for watching.